Welcome to FS19 Repo on the Ravenport map. Today we will be repoing a variety of vehicles. We'll be heading to over to the shop in our 2019 Ram 1500. Today we will be using the new Western Star Rollback along with the Ford Pickup and Utility Trailer to repo a sports car, a pickup truck, and an off-road toy. We are heading over to the shop for the first time with a new daily driver. I really do like this pickup truck, great purchase, really do like the air suspension and all the technology included in the truck. Today we'll be very excited for the new rollback to use here. We recently added it here to the company and it will be our first day really putting it through its paces and we are going to be repoing some pretty expensive vehicles. The first one on the list is a 2019 Corvette ZR1. The owner is behind 5 months on his payments and then the truck after that is a 2019 uh, Ford F450 Platinum Dually and to end today we will be be going to get a Polaris forest eater from one of the local uh, kind of farmers. Let's hop here in the Western Star rollback. Now, more than likely, this Corvette will be at the owner's house. You usually don't kind of drive these on a everyday basis. Usually, just meant for like weekends. And uh, luckily, uh, we should be able to find it today, which is great. I really do like this rollback so far, it's a pretty nice one. I did do a little bit of testing with it and more than likely I will kind of adjust it so that it doesn't go down all the way as well. I think that would be a big improvement but for having lowered cars, especially ones like this Corvette Repo, it will be a lot easier as well. I do want to add full LED strobe lights to the truck and I think that would be a great thing. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Mine's going pretty well. And the house should be coming up here to the right hand side. Now if there was a gate we can't really open it but uh, no gate and I actually see the car there. Wow that is pretty awesome. We'll get our hazard lights on and we'll get this going. Now uh, one big bonus is that this automatically goes down so right about there is where I would really like it to kind of stop. And that way it doesn't come all the way down. But for lower vehicles, it is perfect. This does match the description white ZR1. Come over here and that is a correct VIN. You always really do have to check that. Now because it's so expensive, I want to take a picture here, picture here, and just take a few more, especially of these wheels as well. We do not want to be responsible here for any damage done. Alright, so that looks to be good. Pretty good walk around and quite a lot of pictures. Now with the banks we do work with, they do get a key from their customers, which is a big bonus. Luckily we don't have to drag a very expensive vehicle, anything like that, but you guys can see just how nice this is. It's so, so nice having a rollback like this. Now back in uh, 17 we do rollbacks and uh, wreckers, and I do plan to do quite a lot of videos back in that game still with the repo series, so stay tuned for those and probably some more heavy rescue, but I kind of like that you don't really even need like a locking screen. It automatically just stays where it is on uh, the rollback, which is great. This is a pretty expensive repo, and I mean, I really wanted to kind of do these repos in the order of what they are valued at. The next one, the 2019 450, is uh, just over $80,000, so that's kind of the way we are going. Usually, you want to get the most expensive ones, try to get those first before you go after the smaller. Uh, pay ones because uh, you get a bigger percentage, especially for a vehicle like this. I've really been enjoying the repo series so far here on the Ravenport map. Probably in the next uh, few uh, months, we will kind of look into moving to a new map as well with a very nice town. I do plan on building a map as well this summer. I cannot wait for that. Very, very exciting. It will be a very nice town with a farm.
perfect this will kind of just stay over here kind of in the corner and we'll just have to kind of hope uh, that he gets it worked out with the bank otherwise that will have to go there to the auction but I really do like this so far probably uh, kind of right before it stops is probably where I want the arm to really uh, kind of just be positioned at Next up, let's go take a look here at his house. Now, I'm not sure if he'll be there since it is during the workday, but I think it's since it's nearby, why don't we go there first? And just driving by his house, I really only see this SUV out front, so more than likely he's probably out at work. So why don't we go over there now? Usually when you do try to find a vehicle, it does take quite a lot of trips to the different uh, places where they do work. And sometimes having a rollback, a big truck like this, kind of driving through uh, the area might not help and probably will cause the vehicle to go in hiding. So usually we have to kind of get it the same day. And uh, luckily uh, his uh, work is on the main street and we could just kind of look. And if it is there, we, it doesn't look uh, that uh, like, oh, there's a tow truck out for my vehicle. I do recommend you guys go over to Instagram and give me a follow at square2448. I do post some pretty cool daily pictures and updates over there and sneak peeks. Now his work is actually this uh, building over here and I actually don't see anything. We'll keep our eyes out and can we actually kind of look from the cab? I think that will be awesome. And I see the back end of a 450. That is it. They're red in color. And wow, that was a pretty uh, easy one. We'll kind of just drive up here. And this looks like a pretty good spot. Get our hazard lights on. And having keys is very, very helpful. Uh, otherwise, we would just drag it up using uh, the winch for the roll back. And here it is. Looks like nobody has seen it so far, which is great. And we'll come over here and take a quick look. And that is it. We'll get a few pictures here. Awesome, so it looks like we are good. No dents, nothing like that, and that's a good thing as well. I would like to kind of go out the uh, back way here, but uh, let's kind of see if we can. That way it's the quickest way to get it onto uh, the rollback, and that's the biggest thing. You really want this on. That way uh, you could really get out of here if it comes out and starts uh, kind of really causing a big motion. Now this is going to be a pretty wide truck here for uh, the rollback today. Yeah, the wheels are over on each side. Luckily, that should be good. I really do like that you could fit a big truck like this as well. Perfect. So we got both of the very expensive ones, and the last one is a Polaris, and this will be a bit tricky since it's kind of out in uh, kind of uh, areas where homeowners have quite a lot of land, and uh, it's going to be a bit tricky, especially with all the woods around. If you do have any cool ideas here for repos, let me know down below. I really do like this so far, but you guys do give me some great ideas. What types of things would you guys like me to repo? More cars, more trucks, or even equipment repos. We do get paid quite a bit more for those specialty repos, I would call them. Uh, maybe like a skid steer like we've done before. Probably uh, maybe a front loader, even a back load, things like that. And even the small stuff like lawnmowers, we do repo uh, occasionally. I think to save us a little bit of time here, we will just kind of keep this attached and loaded up. And we're just going to back it up into uh, the yard. I do recommend you check out the upgrade video here. Our first upgrade video with the series. We actually had a pretty big day here. We expanded this fence area and it's been pretty helpful for us. I do want to take the new uh, trailer out with us, so we'll take that. And really just want to kind of back this up enough to get out the trailer. And we'll leave this here. At uh, the end of today, I will get that unloaded. This 08 F350, we've really been putting to work 
for these repos as well and it's a really nice truck probably want to get a tow bar uh, for the back and that way we could really uh, use that wheel lift and uh, repo vehicles with this that would be pretty awesome as well or put a wrecker body on the back of this so I do have some great ideas and I all right, so we got it attached here. Now, one thing with the trailer is that the Jax is a bit delayed, and it does cause a few uh, technical difficulties with uh, kind of having the truck go up in the air in the back just a little bit until uh, the Jack kind of catches up there. But let's head out and see if we could find uh, this uh, four-seater Polaris, and I believe it's red in color. Now, the bank did say that the colors usually change, so we have to check the VIN. Now a VIN number is a specific number unique to each vehicle and uh, that's kind of how you identify it and uh, it's going to be a good thing to always check it and you can't take the wrong person's vehicle that isn't exactly what to do. Looks like a nice construction site over there so the house should be coming up here in the distance on the left hand side. We might be able to see it, we might not and we might have to do a little bit of walking around the property to, to find it. And that is the house there. I really do not see anything. And let's kind of take a look. So if we drive past it a little bit more even, I'm uh, not seeing anything here. So what I want to do is I want to get turned around. This is a bit tricky, but we, we really got to get this one today. So what we'll do is we'll kind of just park this along the side. And actually, I can see a little bit of red now. Ooh, let's take a quick look. Let's hop out of the truck. Let's kind of see if we can make our way over here. I don't think anybody would see us, especially hiding here in the terrain. And I'm starting to see it now. Whoa. Uh, for a moment there, I thought we didn't have it. We'll continue. And that's it. We'll keep running. And oh, wow, looks like we might be able to get it on the first try coming by the property. Looks like all the windows are closed. And let's uh, make the run for it. Let's see. We'll check the VIN. And it's the correct one. We'll get it turned on. Now, I do not want to go on the uh, front of the property just in case. And we're just going to make our way back over here. Wow, very interesting. Really good hiding spot. Usually, though, when repos are uh, known and when uh, people don't pay their bills, they usually put them in hiding. So, good thing we kind of got it now as well. Now this trailer is in perfect setup here for us. I really do like how wide it is and how long it is as well. Usually I like bringing out these bigger trailers and perfect. The other trailer probably would work, but I always want to test out the new ones. So there we go. We got it loaded up here. Really wish we could really strap it down. Hopefully uh, we could have some sort of mod that allows us to do that. Now I will be doing a few more snow plowing videos here be, uh, before the end of the season. We've had a pretty successful snow plowing season, lots and lots of snow. I do want to do a few last ones, so if you do have any cool truck ideas for it, let me know. Maybe we could put a few 2019s to work, something like that would be a great thing. Today's been a pretty long day here for us, but very exciting as well. And hopefully we could get some more expensive repos, more uh, trucks, even some big dump trucks. Those would be a nice thing to repo as well. But we are arriving back here at the shop for the final time today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's repoing video on the Ravenport map. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And subscribe for more.